Chudley Cannons, Chudley Cannons, boom, 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 we are not pirates. Welcome, everyone, to another exciting episode of the Chudley Cannons Rocket League boom season. Boom rules. Where, despite a, quite a winning streak, we are still two games out of first. Oh, the Express. Express just keeps on winning, and now they're playing yeah. against the Seekers, the uh, bottom rank team. Bottom of the league. Wow, they got an easy down. win, unless Victor Crumb can catch the snitch the and right win the time. game. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Boy, who knows, who knows? That'll be an interesting one. Go Seekers, I guess. <laughs> Where we are instead against the Single Arches today. Those Single Arches. Those Single Arches. Mm. 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 They have no idea what's coming. Let's just jump into it. Right. Yeah, I really can't emphasize enough how every time I think single arch, I think of a half arch rather than just like a lone <laughs> arch uh, sitting like, somewhere. Right. <laughs> it's like the like the Arc de Triomphe. Just a single arch. Just just so you can go through it. <laughs> yep. Oh. Does does an arch have one hole or two? Oh no, don't, <laughs> don't even start, Jordan. <laughs> oh no! No! Oh, this is this is a fun fact for those of you who don't know about Jordan in real life, but she speaks in internet memes. It's oh. true. Mm. I thought Although was that there, was man. one that we came up with. <laughs> yes, and you know what? Sometimes oh, I feel like man. it's it's fairly accurate. Alright. So since we already made it past the uh, the, the goal, uh, well. uh, yeah. it's not it's not like us. Our question yeah. today is from Cap, spelled with a K. Uh, and Good to know. That makes a difference. So not Captain right. America. I mean, mostly so that the person knows that it's their question ah, coming up. Ah, yeah. sure, sure, because sure. they, of course, wouldn't remember that they wrote it. <laughs> Tons of other cats could have written that question. <laughs> right. <coughs> um, so this says, Dear Horcrux Boys, Ooh. DK, and Jord. Um, I guess Jord? Yeah. I guess that makes us the Horcrux Boys. Apparently yeah. I'm not a Horcrux Boy. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Cool, cool, you, cool, cool. Did you guys make Horcruxes? Do you have something to tell us? Uh, no. No. no, no. Not. Okay. I'm aware. Um, uh, and Cap says, I'm a huge Potterhead, in love with your videos, all of the things. My problem is, where I live, their other Potterheads are okay, but they don't get all of the information. <laughs> They're okay. They're okay. Especially things that aren't in the books. For example, they don't look at Pottermore, or Harry Potter YouTube, or J.K. Rowling's tweets. So I'm having trouble when I have a Harry Potter conversation where I come up sounding like an insufferable know-it-all. Hey, that's a Harry uh, Potter like quote. Hey, we see what you did there. Uh -huh. I don't want to sound like a know-it-all, but Hermione says that. Yeah. <laughs> um, so usually I compensate by hanging out on Harry Potter YouTube, where the comment section is super nerdy all of the time. And I love that, but I just want to know if anyone else relates or how to uh, not sound like a know-it-all. Also, I love your channel. You make my day when you upload. Also, oh. <laughs> correction, Snape says it about Hermione. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, yes, yes. I uh, know, that was about to <laughs> eat it in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, man. For a second, but I, I was like, this, does this... Hermione say it about herself? All That's those, right. All those insufferable know it alls in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You couldn't answer that, you couldn't correct me without being the thing you were correcting. Uh, exactly. I was like, <laughs> I'm not going to say anything, but it doesn't seem like Hermione to call someone that. Right. Um, but you know, this is an interesting one. I love that it's about Harry Potter specifically, but this is sort of something that I think literally every person in this office has extensive I was just knowledge. Gonna, I was just gonna say that, like we all have like such specific areas of knowledge that I'm sure that all of us individually have had issues of being uh, super pedantic. Yes, yeah. where it's like you, you try to like tell somebody what you've done and it's like, none of that made sense, but <laughs> it sounds cool. Um, like, this is me very frequently with, um, actually, and I used to love this about myself, but I, I feel like in the worst way, uh, my aquarium nerdology is pretty advanced. It is pretty uh, advanced. No doubt about and, that. And uh, I think when people, like, used to ask me, like, my, my favorite fish, because everybody knows that I've, I've been in the Woo! aquarium industry since I was, like, 13, um, I would always say the Lake Tanganyikan cichlid oh. shell dweller multifaciatus. You know, the I, Lake Tanganyikan... Yeah. Swell oh, fasciitis, though. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Yes. Planar fasciitis yeah. is um, really just. <laughs> but not to get particularly uppity, but I'm only in appreciation of them when they're FOs, not any other variation or captive bred. Yeah. My uh, goodness. Oh, yeah. Right, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Usually, when you talk aquariums, I don't glaze over it. With that one, I might have a little. Yeah. Basically, what I just yeah. said is this is a small fish that lives in a shell. 
<laughs> a fish that lives in a shell, like like it's its own shell. Or? No, no, no. It just its habitat is a shell. Oh, okay. okay. Um, so that's that's about the size of it. Yeah, super fun. Um, but so I think the yeah the big question there is like, how do you talk in depth about the thing that you know a lot about without coming across this way, or do you just reserve those conversations when you're amongst peers who would understand it? Man, I think the way to do I think the way that you come across seeming like a know it all or whatever is when you speak over people, yeah. or else you use your knowledge to put them down. Yes, right. Um, so like it, with the <coughs> Harry Potter example. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. You're good, you're good. I, I, the way that I was uh, approaching the ball there was mostly to protect it. You say that, but then you bumped me as you were saying. Yeah, I didn't mean to. <laughs> it's fine. I got, I got bumped into you. Jay, Jay just physically bumped me for those I, of you. Oh, I've been boomed! Oh, no! Oh, oh, Our best player! I forgot about that. Oh, man. Yeah, oh, power! <laughs> That's a Toy Story okay. reference. Specifically for Rats. I want to sound like a know it all right Yeah, no, no, of course. <laughs> um, but so, no, this is interesting though, because people come up to us all the time, or like we get emails day in, day out, um, that are kind of like, hey, I have a Harry Potter theory. In Sorcerer's Stone, the movie, there's a scene where McGonagall's name shows up on a shield. Could this mean blah, blah, blah? And it's like, like at times it's like, yes, we're aware that it's there. <laughs> uh, oh, it. Yeah, you did. That was actually um, pretty good. But like, sort of, all of a sudden, it's like, yeah, no, we really don't count that because it's, you know, it's not considered yeah, no, canon or whatever. Man, um, love, love movie Easter egg for ya. So, if anything, especially or specifically on the Harry Potter front, I feel like we can we can kind of understand where you're coming from here. Um, oh, man, oh, what do you, what do I even do there? Like, it was behind me in such a way that yeah. I couldn't. Okay, so here's <laughs> a question for you right guys. In, the, uh, in the event yeah. that. Somebody starts explaining something to you, and you know exactly what they're talking about, and they're explaining it to you anyway. At what point do you cut in and be like, yeah, I know what you're talking about? Or do you just let them have their moment to discuss Woo! whatever it is they're going to discuss? I, um, I think you just let them discuss what they're going to discuss, and like... The, the key here to not coming across as like pretentious or annoying is to, oh you guys yay is to um like just make sure you're being supportive of what they're saying so if they if you know if, if you're presenting your theory about whatever and they say something right out of the gate that is you know like oh actually let me stop you right there you know uh, what you can instead do is just say like well I see you know it, even if you want to correct them it can be that is a pretty good thought. I thought maybe it would go in this direction myself. I was really excited about that idea until I learned blah blah. But you know, if, if you're cutting people off or just like acting like superior because of it, that's that's the the tricky part. I right. totally agree with that. Yeah. Well, and I, I think that's sort of the thing. Even like with Hermione, to use that particular example, is that. She's, she does know it all, but she is not like an insufferable know it all to the tune of like, she's not reigning her intelligence over others. It's just, um, no. she just does know. Right. Like, she knows the answer, and so it's like, <coughs> yeah. It is so hard to believe. Wait, we were playing the oh. we were playing the same lunches. Wait, you're right. What happened? Oh, I think we must have been sli slid one must over. Have been slid over. Whoops. Slid one over. So, all right. So then, maybe the the next question even lost. becomes: um, if you're in class and you know all the answers to all the questions, like Hermione, do you have enough self awareness to not answer all the questions just because you know them no, to yeah. allow others the opportunity to get involved? I did not for a lot of school. Like, you would answer every question no matter what? I, I would raise my hand for every question. Okay. I'd, I would, I I would wait until other people didn't answer, and then I'd be like, okay, I do know this one. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> and I would say I, I grew out of that a little bit by mid-high school. Now we're on the single arches. Yeah, now, now single arches. Um, so I grew out of that by mid-high school, and college I didn't really do it as much because everybody <gasps> was a... a I would say I was middle of the pack for a lot of college, uh, with the exception of my one physics class where like I had had high school physics and everyone else hadn't, so I would answer those questions. And it was really funny, I got a really good compliment from someone who said, if you're quiet in class, it means that I need to study it twice as hard because it's that much harder. Uh, like, oh, thanks! In college, I almost, uh, we would have these like auditorium-sized classes, and that made it, I think, really difficult for the teacher if they were the kind of 
professor who was like, now, who can tell me why blah blah blah? And it's just like, well, no one in the back of the auditorium is going to raise their hand. Right. There was almost always like a designated person, the whole class agreed, was like, you're the person who will answer the questions, please. God, we're all just here, no one cares about geology, it's rocks for jocks and... Does God. every school have rocks for jocks? Yeah. What are you even talking about? Oh, dude, at, at Radford University, where no, I went to not school, Radford, yeah. geology is not easy. It is easy. not. It is like, not a, it is like a geology easy. school. What is? Uh, <laughs> is this a common term? Rocks, rocks for, for jocks? jocks? Yeah, it's yeah. like, it's, the idea is that geology is in general like a, a fairly easy class to get a, a decent grade in. Really? At the very That's least, lower level geology classes. Yes, sure. Yeah, my, my geology classes, I took 101 and 101 uh, as my two required, or two of my required sciences, and they were both very hard classes with different professors. So, huh. getting back to the, the idea of the question at hand with the insufferable know-it-all, um, and then I'm just going to ask sort of about aquariums, since that's a something that you are exceptionally knowledgeable on. Do you change Whoa! how oh, you no. talk about something with people, whether they are total, like, lay people on it like like us for example who have minimal background in aquariums versus someone who knows something about aquariums maybe has a home aquarium oh that's and, a, and does stuff that's a really good way to phrase it i think because so i used to own an aquarium store like where i would sell fish and you know all that type of stuff and for me 99 <gasps> oh, oh my god, god. Oh, i just wow. straight missed me too me too um 99 of the time the people that would come in would have no idea about anything, but occasionally when the guy would come in, have questions about how to set up a calcium reactor, I would be like, yes. No, like I get to talk relax. advanced stuff. But I think at the end of the day, it's like when you have an advanced working knowledge of something, it means you also have a beginner working knowledge of something. Mm -hmm. And I think that you're going to spread enthusiasm the most just by being able to talk with people on the level that you sort of feel like they're at. And so that was always my thing. Like I never wanted to try to prove to newbie customers that I was the genius of all geniuses because I could drop all sorts of mega sure. advanced Yeah, because you can like say jargon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and uh, so I think that's like a, a really a fine line to dance with it. So it's like if nobody else is advanced, you might not be able to have the type Woo! of Harry Potter conversation that you want. I don't know how I scored that. I think <laughs> I just bulldozed everyone out of the way. I'm pretty sure, and then. You got to nudge it in. I was literally on the other side of the field. Oh, then maybe. Oh, I see. I, I, must, see. Have the, I must have been the, you, last, the last person, person to touch it. it. <laughs> and then I just, yeah, yeah I bumped That's hilarious. Them in. That's hilarious. Um, but no, I went, I went to a conference one time with somebody who I know was not an expert on it. And they were in the car with me on the drive up and we were, you know, talking about stuff for hours because one of the other people in the car with me was really excited about all the cool stuff we were going to see. Sure. And I heard her parroting the information back to others at the event. And I was like, you are attempting to, t to sound yeah. a lot more advanced than you actually are. And I think this is almost the opposite situation where oh. you kind of fake it in order to sound like you fit in more yeah, with others. Yeah, absolutely. Um, which is just like a weird a weird flip, the idea of being the insufferable mode. The insufferable don't know it all. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Know it all. Like they obviously want to be that person. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Or maybe are even accustomed to being that person. Sure, yeah, yeah. Like, no, that's absolutely true. You know, now that I mean, no matter what the subject is, you don't know all of it. I think oh, that's something yeah. to keep in mind. Well, also, uh, this person specifically, what was it? Cam? Cap? Cap. 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 Uh, this person okay. specifically uh, <laughs> uh, mentioned that. Like it's a lot of to do with like the sources, like they're a little more read up on things. Mm -hmm. And I think that if you're in conversation, instead of saying like, oh, I know this thing because I read this thing, you can pose it as a question, which is to say like, oh, I'm pretty sure um, I read, there's something about that in Pottermore. There might be an article, let me check it out. Right. And don't... then you can share that where you got that from instead mm -hmm. of being like, I know this. Something. Yeah, don't make yourself the source of <laughs> yeah. knowledge. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah, that's a really that's good way exactly to put it. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. That would be a more concise way of saying exactly what I yes. just said. <laughs> good yeah. job. Whoops. Oh, no! no! Oh, no! Oh, geez, I kind of. Oh, boy. Um, that's nice. funny because uh, having, a, having done a degree program in science where you have to cite all of your sources, no matter how well-known something is considered to be yeah, in your yeah. field, there's definitely a point in in that where you're just like, how how many times do I have to read something before oh, it's just on, assumed it. that I know this? And so the the answer to that is it has something to do with the audience. And so if this person's talking to 
an audience who might not already have known that and taken that fact for, you know, for granted as knowing it, then phrasing it as a question or citing your source is a great way to circumvent that. Oh! oh! And that's something that we do in videos, even, where we'll say, like, there's an article on Pottermore that says this. We're not saying, yeah, yeah. this is true. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, basically, I mean, we pretty much, I mean, yeah, the more you can source stuff, the better, because that'll make you sound less like a know-it-all. Right. I mean, I, you don't be like, well, actually, on Pottermore, it says, but, you know, that's, that's... Never use the words, well, actually. Yeah, never use that. <laughs> nice. Um, like, <clears throat> yeah, I'd say... That being said, my family definitely used to make fun of me for using the words, well, actually, all the time. Well, this when is... Like, I was a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is definitely, like, a skill <coughs> that takes practice, I oh, think. Oh, yeah, sure, you know? yeah. Which is, you know, it's, it's mature of you to even be asking. I agree. Sounds really nice. Um, jumping back a little bit, Ben, you had something... said something about... Uh, if someone tells you about something that you already know about. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm usually more than happy to like let the person uh, tell me about it. Like, what happens if they explain it wrong? <laughs> uh oh. I'm I'm honestly fine with it. I I think that I'm not someone who needs to be right. Um. So it's like if I hear somebody say something wrong or disagree with their opinion, it's like okay. Like that's that's not something where I will go to battle for it. Or on the other end of it, it's it, I'm usually calculating whether or not it does matter to me that the person I'm talking to knows the correct. Uh, at that point, are, are they oh, going to oh, cause? Oh, oh. oh. yeah. Wow. Is this person going to cause harm by being wrong? Or is yeah. It yeah. But at that like, point, I will ask to for like a source because I'm like because maybe I could be wrong. Oh sure. Heard, right. Like don't yeah. Just always assume you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, I mean, like, sure well, I'm that's right. interesting. I, I haven't heard that. Can do you know where you have that information from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's a good way to do it. Actually, I like that. Go with Derek's yeah. idea. You guys are so smart. This is this uh, is like <laughs> top what notch. A good not that not that the advice hasn't been great lately. Don't but this is don't condemn us to losing. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Fair point. Uh, similarly, <laughs> if someone is retelling a story that they've told you before. How often do you? I got a boom with that, man. Just... <laughs> uh, no, how many times will you let someone retell you? The oh, same that's story? the worst. Uh, well, here's the thing: if anyone in the vicinity, if there's anyone, like, if uh, me and, like, for example, if the four of us were sitting in the car or something, and me and Derek had heard Ben tell the same story twenty times, but we both knew Jordan had never heard it, you just let it go. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 for sure. What's for annoying sure. is when, like, the same person's telling it that same day. That's, oh, yeah. that's when I get frustrated. Where I'm like, I've... I'm really bad about retelling stories. I was oh, uh, come on, I I had it. talking to a friend of mine and telling her a story. And after I finished telling the story, she said, you know, that's the fourth time you've told me that story. <laughs> I'm like, why didn't you tell me at the beginning or the second time I told you the story? Yeah. I mean, it can feel rude to like cut somebody off, but every once in a while, if it's a story that somebody has told me several times, or if I know that it's particularly lengthy, nice. sometimes what I'm what I'll do is is just sort of like kind of uh -oh. patiently wait, and if like a particular detail comes up, <laughs> oh no, I've been boomed. Uh oh, that's bad news. <gasps> hey, Benjamin! Oh gosh. Oh man, we um, are we are in we are they are bouncing around our goal, and we are a man down. This is bad news. Sometimes that looks good. I will wait. For there to be a particular detail, and then sometimes I I will be like, oh my god, yeah, yeah, like didn't is is it possible this is the story where you got stuck in the buggy at Walmart and oh, had no. to call, oh, oh. We lost had to call the cops to come get you out. <coughs> is that um, a real life story? Because that's hilarious. No, I just made that one Bummer. up. Yeah. Um, but like you know, sometimes if it's if it's twenty five percent of the way in, and I know that it's a particularly lengthy story, I I may offer sure, like a very sure. gentle like, like oh, hey. yeah, is this is this that time? It's like you've told me about that. That's so crazy. And then I, I try to follow it up with some version of like after you told me that, like I can't help but notice that every time I go to Walmart, someone's stuck in a buggy. <laughs> that's, Which that's is a just, very uh, it's a constant it. problem. A constant problem. Yeah, you just know, every time. it's like it's like until you start noticing it, you never notice it. But then after a while. Yeah, I had a weird situation with this. In college, I knew a girl, and her whole group of friends would retell the same story over and over and over. And it was like so annoying to me. And it, but it eventually dawned on me, like this was their only story. Oh no! Like, no, like sure. they just didn't do that much stuff. <laughs> sure. And it was like so for them, reliving this moment was like glorious because it was like their one adventure. And. Although I have to admit that our friend group from high school, the GMA, it's like we we don't see each other as much as we used to. Yeah. 
And now, whenever we do have like a gathering where all four of us are in the same place, I feel like we do go through our highlight reel. Uh, whatever, that's so different. That's reminiscing with friends. <laughs> it's reminiscing with, not, it absolutely not. is. But I feel like our, our wives and significant others have probably heard us reminisce over the same uh, They know what they're before. getting into. They know what they're <laughs> right. getting into. Did we just lose two in a row? Yeah, we lost two in a row. That wasn't great, guys. Yeah, cool, cool, um, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, whatever, whatever. We're just trying to keep it interesting is all. Yeah. Keep it interesting. We got a two-game lead on the old Rovers down there who have uh, been yeah, injured their way back up. Yeah, to them today, yeah. As long as we don't clog ourselves out of the, uh... Yeah, I don't right? even think we can. Even if we lost the next... Now, how many games are there until the playoffs? Um, just three. Three. Like. So, so I if think we lost we... all three and the Balls Rebels them, yeah. won all three, it would be... What? It would be, like, point differential? Ah, more yeah. that would also though mean we were on a five-game losing skid, and maybe we don't even deserve to be. <laughs> true, <laughs> yeah. true. If you lose your last five games, well, like regardless of what sport, yeah. <laughs> if yeah, you lose your like, last five, it's like oh boy, it doesn't look good for you. Maybe didn't deserve to be in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. You can win the first ten games of your NFL season, but if you're on a six-game skid into the playoffs, not, not so not good. good. Not yeah. good. Yeah, not good prospects. But anyway. I thank you guys so much for watching. I thought it was a great question today. I hope you don't sound like an insufferable know-it-all anymore. Yeah, I'd be I'd be yeah. curious to know how you guys respond to a, a couple of different things. Like for one, uh, if you know the answer or knew the answer in high school classes when some when the teacher asked, would you always answer or would you allow the other students a chance? Because I think that's kind of like Hermione Granger syndrome. She can't, yeah, right. can't not. not. But that's in class, um, different situation too. It's it is, it is a different situation. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But, I mean, it's it's still taking into consideration the feelings of others. Yeah. And how do you react if somebody has already told you a story before? Mm -hmm. And you know yeah. where it's going, mm -hmm. and you know that it's lengthy, and you got places to be. That's right. Let <laughs> us know in the towel section down below. If you have any other questions you need the answers to, feel free to float them down there, and Jordan will pick out the best ones and ask them to us here. And it'll be great. It'll be great. Yeah. But until next time. Charlie, Charlie Cannons, Charlie Cannons, boom, 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 we are not pirates.